Hello and welcome to the Cheapskate Channel, your number one resource for how to get things done without spending a lot of money and keeping your butt out of hock. Yes, we have a lot of creative ideas here that will alleviate a lot of the nagging problems in your life. Life should be lived and enjoyed and not be under the thumb of somebody financially or be under the thumb for somebody for any reason. Life is too short for that. Today I'm going to talk to you about a subject that's probably affecting quite a number of you folks out there. It's about being overextended financially. And uh, it's a real pain in the ass to be overextended financially because bill collectors are calling, sending you ugly letters, knocking on your door, sometimes visiting you at your job. You know, the neighbors are whispering, talking, and looking, or your employees are whispering, talking, and looking because they know that you spent too much money and you got people coming after you f to get the money. And they will come after you to get the money. You know, it's just a fact of life and human nature. You know, if you give people an inch, they'll take a mile. You know, never, ever give someone license to come in and try to make your life a living hell. And that's what being overextended and in debt is. Always, always strive to pay cash and not finance anything. Because if something happens, and something pretty much always will happen, you will be beholden to the mercies of other people. And let's face it, people generally, even though you have some exceptions, people generally are not merciful. Once they see they got you, they'll grind your ass into the ground. That's just how it is. But now, yeah, I know those of you who are in financial trouble are probably considering bankruptcy. Now, unfortunately, the bankruptcy laws are not like they used to be. It used to be, hey, I'm going to go down and file bankruptcy. Get all your debts wiped clean. You know, you might have to sell a bunch of stuff to do it. There's certain things that you can keep that are, are, are non-liquidatable assets and stuff. But, uh, you know, everybody used to go uh, one form of bankruptcy, which is total liquidation. Now they have uh, another chapter, which is payments, balance payments. You still get the bankruptcy stigma, but you still have, but you still can pay have to pay them back you know it used to be a lot of people used to go hey i'll go bankrupt get out of it and make a fresh start recently well we have a compromise for you to avoid the bankruptcy stigma you have to make the payments back but you can stop your phone from ringing you can stop people from knocking on your door you can stop those ugly nasty rude letters from coming and you can keep the monkey from coming to visit you at work to find out when they're going to get paid and it's something that's offered in most cities or at least close to you where it's worth the trip. And generally, the most popular one of these outfits is called Consumer Credit Counseling. And it's an organization that's dedicated to help people try to get their finances back in order by being the go between the people, between you and the people you owe to help them reach, help you guys reach an agreement to get the stuff paying back. It's basically like a debt restructuring. You know, lots of companies do it all the time. Donald Trump does it all the time, where you see where he goes in and makes a deal, the art of a deal. Well, this is something similar to that for regular folks like you and me. But Consumer Credit Counseling has it where they will take a look at all your debts and put it into a plan and contact your creditors and say, look, there we, you know, you are under Consumer Credit Counseling. We're trying to assist help them to help you get paid. And a lot of companies cooperate with consumer, consumer credit counseling because under regular bankruptcy, they ain't getting jacked most of the time. And at least under consumer credit counseling, they can get a significant percentile of the money back. They won't get it all, but they will at least get something more than they would get in standard bankruptcy court. And you avoid the stigma of having a bankruptcy put on your credit report because if you have a bankruptcy put on your credit report, you have to wait years before you can do anything. And that really hurts if you're trying to change jobs, trying to rent an apartment, trying to buy a house, trying to buy a car. You can't do dilly squat with it. 
under consumer credit counseling, once you kind of clean up your financial act a little bit, and trust me, you have to go to counseling classes so that once you get it clean, you can stay clean, you know, you can go out and go live your life again without being fearful of the phone ringing or being afraid of opening up the mailbox because of some ugly, nasty letter inside uh, where they threaten to sue you or somebody garnishing your pay or, you know, all this kind of stuff, which, you know, you could really be happier and live life without. But anyway, try these people. Uh, they call it CCCS. Take a look in the phone book or take a look on the Internet. They're in most major cities. One word of warning, don't go to a lot of these organizations on television that claim that they will go and clean your credit off and clean all this. That, that's a scam. Don't go to those. Go to a bona fide consumer protection agency where you can get things done and help you. There's a uh, consumer protection guy in Atlanta that's on a TV and radio station. Guy named Clark Howard. He's a pretty good fellow uh, that uh, gives people really good consumer information. And I think he's a good proponent of the consumer credit counseling thing, too. And if all else fails, Google and call him. Even if you're in another part of the country, they, they, they're, uh, they're a clear channel, AMWSB 750 channel. I'm not giving them a shameless plug. They just have good stuff here. And Clark's a good guy. And I think that he, he really tries to help people. And he gives good information lots of times. And I've had friends who volunteered down at their Consumer Action Center. And it's really, you know, they really try to help people and they've made a good impact on people's lives. But give them a call no matter what part of the country you're in because they will look it up for you and point you in the right direction where you can get help locally to solve your indebted problems. Of course, you know my feeling on it, never get in debt in the first place. And hopefully once you get your butt out the sling this time, maybe you won't get back in the sling so that means leaving those credit cards alone, don't go to the furniture rental place, leave all these easy payments and these high price, buy here, pay here, car dealerships alone, go slow. And if you can't afford to pay cash for it, leave it alone. Don't go on anybody's finance. It's all too easy to get financing, but something always happens to keep you from making the payments. You could get sick. Somebody can happen, you know, you, you might lose your job. That's a big one. You know, best to leave it alone. Get your finances straightened out and then come back and be as cheap as possible. Be cheap as hell if you have to and live a better quality of life. It's fun being cheap. I'm cheap and I'm loving every minute. Hopefully if this information has helped you tremendously, please like and share this video. And also please do me a favor and go up to the top of the web page and highlight the web page location, the HTTP double slash, uh, and the YouTube uh, web page location. Highlight it, copy it, and paste it to your Facebook, Instagram, or whatever type of social media that you're using. Hopefully as many as possible. And tell them how I got out of debt, and you can too. Send them back here to me and so they can listen to this video. And I can tell them what I've told you. And they can get it straight from the horse's mouth. And they can cure their financial ills and get on with the better quality of life. Life is short. Why be in debt and why be beholden to somebody? That sucks. Go ahead and do it today. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for more helpful hints and how to free yourself from debt tyranny. And live life better. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.